All right, we are making a picture based on Claude Monet's artwork of water lilies. He made many paintings of water lilies in the early 1900s. And so we are going to start by using crayon to draw some water lilies on our paper. We're showing foreground, middle ground, and background. So the water lilies that are the closest to us are at the bottom of the page. They are going to be the largest. Things that are the closest to us are the largest. So we're going to just make some lines going across here for our lily pads. So larger at the bottom. And then as we go up our paper, we get medium size. And then way far away at the top of our paper, they would be small. Okay, I also blended in a little bit of the lighter green. So uh, Claude Monet was born in Paris, France in 1840 and he died at the age of 86 in Giverny, France where he built his own water garden. He spent the last 10 years of his life painting and working in his water garden. So we're going to make our water lilies now. So I like to do like four or five petals usually just coming out straight from my lily pad. One, two, three, four, maybe five over this way. Monet helped to invent a style of painting called Impressionism, where the artists painted their impression of what they saw, not exactly like real life. It was kind of softer and kind of more fuzzy looking. They weren't really concerned about the details. They wanted to just sort of capture the beauty of nature. So as you can see, as I go up the page, my water lilies get smaller too. So I've got large, medium, and then small to match up with my smaller lily pads. And Monet loved painting boats and oceans and ponds and lakes. I'm blending in a little bit of red violet with my pink. Uh, impressionist artists often painted the same thing at different times of the day or different seasons of the year. Like Monet painted haystacks in the fall and then again in the spring. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in between my petals. They wanted to show how the, the sunlight changed things at different times of the day also. So I might do um, haystacks at night at night and then in the morning, dawn and dusk, and a little bit also of orange I'm going to add in there. And uh, 
Impressionist artists used warm and cool colors in a way that um, they made each other look really bright and beautiful. So I'm using mostly warm colors for my water lilies. I'm going to add in a little bit also in the water just to sort of show the sunlight reflecting off the water. And a little trick also is adding in a little bit of white. White crayon on white paper doesn't show up really well, but if you can get a wax resist going with your crayons and your watercolor paints, that has a cool effect. Monet, Monet even uh, set up a boat as a floating art studio. So he would stop to paint wherever he felt inspired or saw something beautiful. So it was really important to Monet and many of the Impressionist painters to paint outdoors in the real elements. To try to really capture what nature was really like instead of going back to the art studio and then painting from memory. All right, so I blended in a little bit of white and then I'm going to take my um, either watercolor paints or tempera cake paints and I am using just cool colors. In fact, on my original picture, I just used mostly blue and then a little bit of um, purple. So I really want to get a lot of water, not much paint. So that is kind of dark. As I spread it out, it should get lighter. Just gonna add a little water right to my paper and right on top of that paint. I'm gonna get water and just a little more paint now. And I really try to keep that light as much as I can. Now you can see in some areas where I paint right on top of my crayon, my crayon should still show through because this is a wax resist. The wax in the crayon doesn't mix with the water in the paints. The wax resists the water. So sometimes you get like little beads of paint, little kind of kind of little, little dots of paint that just sort of rests on the surface of the wax from the crayon. Sometimes it just slides right off. Sometimes if you press really hard with the paintbrush, you, you end up scraping off the, um, the wax. So that's why you have to really paint gently. And use a lot of water for this. So anytime when I think my water is looking, or my paint's looking too dark, I'm just going to carefully add a little bit more water. So 
So sometimes you end up being able to see those spaces where you colored in with the white crayon. Getting a little bit of thunder out here. I'm painting out on my porch. So, kind of like the Impressionists, painting outdoors. Okay, and then I also added a little bit of purple. So here I really want to be real gentle too. Try not to get too dark. And the purple does look nice next to the yellow. The purple and yellow are opposite each other on the color wheel. So they intensify each other, make each other look bright. And it's okay also to leave some white on the paper too. For this project when we're painting, because it sort of makes the um, water looks like look like look like it's shining. All right, so I hope this turns out just wonderfully for you. And good luck with your Monet water lily picture.